What's up YouTube, Official Gaming Network, and welcome to episode 40 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode we implemented the Fire Flower into our game. Well, you know in Mario games when we fall into a pit, we die. Well, that's what we're going to be implementing today. Now I was actually going to combine this and uh, implementing the Hammer Bros into one episode, but I thought it will kind of get a little bit too long. And I thought I'll release the Hammer Bros episode a few days later, and uh, I'll just do this one now. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We're going to make a public static int. We're going to call it death y. I'm going to set it equal to zero. And uh, it'll obviously be uh, the y coordinate of, uh, you know, the lowest point in our map. So, yeah, scroll all the way down. And under public static rectangle, get visible area. We're going to make a public static int, and we're going to call it get death y, and obviously this is going to uh, get our lowest point in the map, or the lowest y coordinate in the map. All right, so first of all, we're going to make another linked list of all the tiles that we have so far. We're going to call it temporary list, and we're going to set it equal to handler dot tile because we want it to be because we want our temporary list that we're going to sort to be the same as our handler.tile linked list. And now to actually sort it, we're going to uh, create a, com a comparator, I think. Yeah, comparator. And uh, in these little uh, things here, I forgot what they're called. We need to put in what we're going to sort and we're going to be sorting tiles. So we're going to call it tile sorter. I'm going to say equal to a new comparator. Comparator, I don't know how you call it. We need to import it. And the reason why we get an error is because uh, this is unlike a lot of other objects we create. Usually, like, if we create an object, let's go to the top of the class. Yeah, usually when we create an object, we say, oh, this equals to a new whatever. Then we put curly brackets. But no, this is a little bit different. When we create our object, every, like, comparator class, it has a method inside it called compare, and this pretty much does all the comparing for us. Now we actually get an error because we need to code this compare method ourselves. So when we use this comparator, it knows how to compare things. So to set the compare method in the comparator class, instead of typing in curly brackets after new comparator tile, we're actually going to put in curly brackets uh, right where they are now. Oh my bad, and we need to put our curly brackets after that as well. I mean, just normal brackets. And uh, we can hover over here and click add unimplemented methods. Oops, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it created a little compare uh, method for us. And in here is where we're going to uh, create our compare method. So we'll call the first tile T1 and the second tile T2. So we're going to uh, make an if statement. We're going to check if T1.getY, so our first tile's uh, Y, is greater than our second tile's Y. And if that's true, we want to return 1, which will put T1 up higher in the list. And uh, we're going to make another if statement, but it's going to be the opposite. And if T2 dot get y is greater than our first tiles y, then we want to return negative 1, which I'm sure will put it lower in the list. I'm not sure if positive puts it higher in the list or negative. So yeah, that's pretty much our comparator done. Now, to sort it, we type collections whoops what am I doing collections dot sort then at first we want to put in uh, the list we want to sort and uh, the comparator we want to sort it with so we want to so the comparator we want to use to sort it is obviously our tile sorter so put temp list comma tile sorter and then we still need to return our lowest uh, y point so we want to type return temp list dot uh, get first because uh, how we're coding our comparator the lowest the tile with the lowest y will be at the very start of our linked list so we can type temp list dot get first to get the lowest tile in our map temp list dot get first dot get y plus temp list dot get first dot get height because we want it to be the absolute lowest point. So yeah, uh, now we actually need to call this get death y uh, method. So go into your handler class and go to your uh, handler's create level method. 
And after our, like all the for loops and stuff, at the very end of our create level method, we want to type game dot death y is equal to game dot get death y because we want to set our death y to the lowest point in our level as soon as we create it. Because uh, if we set our death y equal to here, well, like I mean, if we put our death y at the start of our create level method, death y will get set equal to zero because uh no blocks have been created, like there's nothing to read. Or it'll get stuffed up because the death y will be the same death y as the previous level. So make sure to call that method after we create all the tiles. So now go into your player class. And uh, I'm just going to get rid of this here. And just uh, make an if statement in our players tick method. Check if get y is greater than game dot get death y then die obviously so let's run our game whoops I actually typed the wrong thing it was actually game dot death y alright so let's run our game and see if it works alright well obviously it didn't work because our player died straight away so it's probably uh, my fault I probably meant to type a uh, negative one then positive one so yeah just switch negative one and positive one around all right so okay, let's go over to here and as you can see i add a little pit in this level so if we fall in it yeah as you can see uh when we go below our lowest point in the level then we die so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this little short episode of our uh, Mario series. Next episode is going to take a lot longer, which will be uh, the uh, Hammer Bros episode where we implement our Hammer Bros enemy, you know, the thing that the guy that throws hammers. And it will take a lot longer, mainly because uh, I'm going to be explaining everything in depth and uh, the mathematics behind it, it's quite complicated and uh, I'm going to be explaining it, so which, which will take up a lot of the episode. So I thought instead of cramming this into the Hammer Bros episode, I thought I might put them in separate episodes just to make things easier. So, yeah, the next episode will come out in a few days. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys soon.